Now, let's divide by chunking. So we know that normally with division, we can count up in steps of the divisor until we reach the dividend. But here, it would take us a very long time to count up in fours until we reached 100. So, on our number line, instead of jumping in fours, we can make one big jump of 10 times 4, which is 40. So if we jump 10 fours, we get to 40. But that's still less than 100, so we can make another jump of 10 fours, so add another 40 to our number line, and 40 plus 40 is 80. So 80 is what we get, from all together, we've got 10, 20 jumps of 4. Now, if we jumped another 10 steps of 4, that would take us too far. If we added another 10 times 4, so another 40, that would take us to 120, but that would be too many. So what can we do instead? Well, you might know that 5 times 4 is 20. So if our next jump is 5 times 4, so adds another 20, 80 plus 5 times 4, so 80 plus 20 takes us to 100, so takes us to our dividend. Then we just count up what we jumped. We jumped two tens, and we jumped a 5, so Altogether, we jumped 25 steps, so 100 divided by 4 is 25. Now, 141 divided by 3. Again, we're not going to count in steps of 3. We can count in steps of 10 times 3, and 10 lots of 3 is 30. Another 10 lots of 3 means we can add another 30, and 30 plus 30 is 60, but we're still not close to our dividend, so another 10 lots of 3, another 30 takes us to 90, and we're not there yet, so let's keep going. Another 10 lots of 3, so 90, plus another 30 takes us to 120, but here... If we jumped another 10 lots of 3, that would take us to 150, and that would be too many. So, we need to jump in something smaller. Now, 5 times 3 is 15. So, if we jump in 5 times 3, we can add 15 to 120, and 120 plus 15 is 135. Now we're very close to 141. You might be able to spot that 141 is 6 more than 135, and 6 is 2 lots of 3. So if we add another 2 lots of 3, so another 2 times 3, another 6, that takes us to our dividend, takes us to 141. So again, we just count up what we jumped. We jumped up 10, 20, 30, 40, so 4 tens, and then we jumped 5 and 2, which together is 7. So our answer is 47. Now, 180 divided by 5. Again, we can start by jumping in steps of 10 times 5, so in steps of 50. If we add another 10 times 5, 50 plus another 50 is 100, and another 10 lots of 5 take us to 150. Now, if we added another 10 times 5, so jumped another 10, that would take us to 200, but that would be too many. So, we don't want to jump in 10 times 5. Instead, let's jump in 5 times 5, 
because 5 lots of 5 is 25. And if we add 25 to 150, that takes us to 175. So from there, to get to 180, we just need to jump one more. So altogether, we jumped 10, 20, 30, so 3 in our 10s. Then we jumped 5 and 1, so 6. So 180 divided by 5 is 36.